I am beyond ready to welcome spring tomorrow. And if you're like me, you may want to update your home to reflect the new season. Interior designer Howard Eason joins me now with some ideas on how to do just that. It's great to have you here, Howard. It's great to be here. So let's talk about furniture, some things that we can do. You've got some really pretty examples here. Yes, absolutely. So a inexpensive way to update furniture is through pillows. Okay. And that's bringing in a lot of color. Mm -hmm. So we know that chocolate is the neutral for winter. Yeah. and fall but let's get rid of that our Ooh. new neutral out of here chocolate <laughs> is gray gray is oh. the happening thing now for neutrals okay so as far as pillows you want to make sure that you have texture mm -hmm. and also pattern that okay. will give you more impact it will become artistic on your couch so I could mix this nice gray pattern with this turquoise and white absolutely because turquoise okay. is the color as well so if you want to go with a pop go with turquoise okay let's talk about um, you've got some nice art artwork here. Yes, like one of the things I like to do is travel and I collect artwork. Okay. Well, of course, you know, sometimes artwork can read a little dark. Yeah. And winter like like this one. Mm -hmm. So what I am get this one out of the way. What I want to do is just kind of swap this out okay. and show you this one which is a lot more light, airy, yeah. colorful and it gives you more of a spring feel. Gotcha. Yeah, so, no, and another thing is that always go with art that reminds you of the season in which you traveled. Mm -hmm. So if you went to Paris in the spring, bring back that Paris photo, put yeah. that up, or, you know, so for winter, the same thing. I don't so. do that enough. I don't swap out my artwork. Yeah, enough. yeah. It's a great okay. thing to do. Okay, so you've got some nice florals over here. Yes, so as far as accessories, accessories should be bright. Okay. okay so we know that we have those chocolates, those, you know, those cold, um, mm -hmm. those iron tones and, and metallic. Mm -hmm. So, and it's okay to use that, but go with pops of color. Okay. So again, we brought in the turquoise with this owl, and this owl kind of represents a spring-like bird, I, I would yeah. assume, right? So, and then also, um, I brought in some florals. I'm not that big on artificial flowers, mm -hmm. but if you're going to do it, go with a clear vessel so that it looks the part. Right. Yeah. So it looks authentic, right? It looks authentic, <laughs> exactly. And okay. then one of my... Um, one of my cheats here is when I do um, staging is that I use clear um, dish liquid to go in there because it doesn't oh. evaporate as much as water. So, and that, you still get that designer look. That is a great cheat. I'd never heard of that, Howard. And look at these pretty accessories. They scream spring to me. Yes, and you know that this theme is carried out throughout. So you see the reds, you see the turquoise, yeah. you see a little bit of pink, and pastels are always signature for the spring. Absolutely. Okay, when it comes to drapes, what do you do? <laughs> so drapes, yeah. So here we go with the chocolate neutral again. So what you want to do, and these are um, silk and mm -hmm. uh, what you want to do is just swap them out. They do have texture, but they don't have personality. Gotcha. So the thing that you want to do is go with a lighter tone, go with something that has pattern. So we mm -hmm. went with a stripe. A stripe will give you the illusion that the room is a lot taller than it is. Oh. So yeah, so that's a great transition right into spring with going with gold. Okay, what's that down there on the end? Okay, so at the end, so we're transitioning our shower curtains as well. Okay. Because with shower curtains, we don't have a lot of space and wall space to mm -hmm add artwork, so let's do it through the shower curtain. Nice. So with the first one, we have a winter look. It's a winter fall look, mm -hmm. So and it, and it can transition into spring as well because it has the greens and the oranges. But it doesn't have to be literal with color when it comes to spring. It can be nice and crisp. And again, we're going with a signature gray because yeah. gray is very clean and crisp and that reminds you of spring. You're so consistent. Look at you with gray in your suit jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Howard, Thank these you. are all great ideas. Thank you so much. Thank you.